mixed martial artists are some of the best conditioned athletes in the world. As important as skill training is, if you don't have strength and conditioning to use those skills, you are useless. Developing peak overall conditioning is the ultimate goal in MMA training. The focus is on power, explosiveness, strength, speed, agility, and muscular endurance. And we're going to start off nice and easy with just a little bit of uh, jump rope. Now, if you, if you have an actual uh, rope to, to do jumping, that always comes in handy. And we're going to do a little kick outs, skipping kick outs. Keep those arms just circulating just to warm up the body just a little bit. And from there, we're going to bring the hands up and bring the elbow to the knee. Just a nice little crunch. Exhale as you bring the knee to the elbow, elbow to the knee. And other side. From there, slow motion burpees. We're going to come and squat down, walk forward into push up, walk the hands back into low squat, and then come back up. This is all just part of the warm up. Try to get, when you get down to that low squat, try to see if you can try to keep both the, the heels and the balls of the feet on the, on the floor. A couple more. Last one. All right. From there, we're gonna get into a fighter stance, do some jabs and crosses. Warm up the shoulders. We're not going to be doing, spending too much time with the body weight. Today we're going to be working with lighter dumbbells. And let's go for a hook and uppercut. Don't hold your breath. Switch sides. Jabs and crosses. You want to do palm heel strikes. It's my preference. Two, three, four. And into the hook and uppercut. One, two, one, two, one, two. Feet wide, squat with a kick, and alternate. And let's open up the hips. So a crescent kick. So we're going to extend the, the foot out. And again, alternate. But do one side, you want to do the other. And from there. Snap kick forward and then a back kick. Look over your shoulder behind, back kick and back to stationary position. Snap back down, back kick. One and two. Light toe touch. Other side. Do some swing hammer fists. So, having the hand clinched, just going to swing, open up the body, just let the arms kind of swing forward. All the power, the rotation comes from the core. Nice and loose on the upper body, just warming it up. All right, 
some arm circles. Almost done the warm-up, almost, almost. Around the other way. We're gonna get down on the ground, kneeling, kneeling get-ups. So in a kneel position, I'm just gonna step forward, step forward and up, and then back down. Alternate feet as you go up and as you go down. Two more. Last one. All right, so we're gonna get right into the workout. So we're gonna start off the dumbbell work with some high knee pull downs, and then a three-way lunge. So we're gonna bring the dumbbells starting up, and we're gonna bring the dumbbells down as we bring the knee up. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale as you bring the knee up. Always want to exhale on exertion. Don't really worry about bringing that dumbbell up too high. Shoulder height is good enough. Go for five, four, three, two, two and a half, and one. Oh, I can't count. Let's do for a couple more. We gotta kind of do it time-wise. And last one. Place the weights down. We're gonna do a three-way lunge kick. So the way this one works, so we're gonna step forward. The leg you're gonna step forward with is gonna, you're gonna end up doing the kick. So you step forward, kick. Stay on that same foot, forward, kick. And again. it. Again. Go, oh, keep going. Down low, kick. Down low, kick. Keep those elbows in close to the body. Lunge forward, kick. Last time on this leg. Back. And back. Switch feet. So the opposite elbow to the knee. Kick. Turn. Kick. Ooh, almost lost my balance there. That's why it's important to focus on what you're doing. Not look around all over the place. All right. Step. Step forward, drop down. What you want to make sure you're doing as you come back on that back foot, make sure that you're at least got your heel planted solid as you kick forward. side, back, kick, back, kick, that's it, last time, for one, kick, two, kick, and three, and kick, there we go, time for a little water break, all right, so we're going to bring the hands down, knees up, and alternate. That's it. That's it. Keep exhale on exertion. As you contract those abdominals, bring the knees up. Good 
This is a little easier than trying to do snap kicks. Let's bring the knee up. Five more seconds. Okay. I just want to make sure I have enough room here. All right. So I'm going to step forward with this foot and then snap kick as I come back. Step forward, opposite knee to the elbow, and snap. And again. Stay on that foot. Keep that elbows in close to the body when you do the kick out. You're covering your body as you do the kick. And again, kick, snap, and snap one more time all the way through. Snap, bang, and then back, snap, bang, and last one on this leg, switch legs, so I'm going to be stepping forward with the other leg, snap, kick, forward, kick, and other side. And again, two, step lunge, kick, step lunge, kick, and again, step lunge, kick, kick, kick. Almost forgot to kick that time. Last time. Again, we're going to be using dumbbells. Is our uppercut. So we're going to need two dumbbells for the first one and just a one dumbbell for the second one. So we're going to get in our fighter stance, one foot forward, bring the elbows in close to the body. We're going to be doing uppercuts right to the chin and alternate. Exhale as you bring the weight up. Now as you're driving your hip forward, right, and that back leg, driving that hip, that's driving that arm up and bringing the power. Even on that front uppercut, you're bringing the hip forward a little, rotating. Let's go for three, two, and one. Place one down. We're going to do uh, single, uh, single arm swings. So the way this one works is we're going to get into a, as if we're doing kettlebell swings with a dumbbell, but we're doing one arm in the center, and we're just going to do swings up. Don't worry about going up for height. Shoulder height is good enough. Let's try to drive the hips forward. Four, three, two, and one. Grab, oh, switch over to the other side. When we do one side, we've got to do the other. Yes, and we'll do that with the uppercuts too. All right, and let's swing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your two dumbbells. Why? Because we got to do those uppercuts again. Fighter stance. Now, step forward with the other foot. Like I said, what we do on one side, we do on the other. All right? Maybe awkward for some, might be easier on others. So we're going to do uppercut, 
and then another uppercut to the chin to the chin rotate the hip that's it bring the hip into it now this same type of punch could be done lower not necessarily up towards the chin as long as you're going down the center line it could be going down low into the gut area okay close fist you want to hit something soft chin or the belly and let's go for four three two and one and single arm swings feet just over hip width and let's go for 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and switch in 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 all right grab some water a little break time and we'll get on to the next set jabs and crosses in the fighter stance elbows in close to the body again when you cross and when you're doing your jabs and your crosses you're still turning your hips in towards where you're striking and just keep going keep the elbows in close to the body turn that core into it exhale as you extend the arm out right down your center line watch your feet make sure that they're not laterally one behind the other right add them so they are kind of around your hip area a little wider for mobility for three two and one place one dumbbell down and we're going to do single leg deadlifts or if you want a little bit more weight you can grab onto the two dumbbells it's a little awkward but you can do it so right grab it here like this so we're going to come down and up again down up so keep that leg in under tension the whole time the one you're working working that hamstring don't lock out that knee inhale down exhale up let's go for six five four three two and one I'm doing it a little bit different than I usually do it I'll explain why in the next set so we're gonna do the other side and one and two and three four five six seven eight Go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Do you guys see that? Oh, all right, a lot. Grab some water. Do that set again. Oh, let's. Do the jabs and crosses again. So what we did the one side, we've got to do the other. So I'm stepping forward with my other foot, bringing the elbows up, jab and cross right down my center line. Exhale, exhale. 
That's it. Keep the elbows in close to that body. Turn the hips into it. You're going to learn to strike the punch. You got to learn how to do it right. Right down that center line. Elbows in close to the body. Your arms are just an extension. It's all drive power through your hips. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Single leg deadlifts. Now we're gonna do it a little bit different than what I did the last time. So you're gonna be bringing the dumbbell to the opposite leg. So I did it on the same side. Now I wanna do it with the, my dumbbell in the opposite hand. Right, I'm gonna come down and up. Two, three. This way you might find it a little bit easier. It actually is a little bit more natural. Right? If you're gonna get on your market set, go. You're bringing that other hand up. Don't lock out that knee. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides. And again, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to go. We got four, three, two, one. Grab two dumbbells. We're gonna get right into the next one. Working the shoulders. We're gonna be doing alternating shoulder presses. So have the feet about hip width. Bring the dumbbells up, and we're just gonna alternate bringing them up overhead. And that's it. Just pumping them out. This is like painting the ceiling. It's not really gonna work the muscles too much, fatigue them a little bit, but that's about it. Right, we're working more on endurance, getting that heart rate up. Try not to lean back. Try to keep your core nice and strong. Tighten those butt cheeks. For five, four, three, two, and one. Standing press outs. Now with a lighter weight, I'll do it with a lighter weight just to show. So the feet again about hip width. You're gonna have the dumbbell more or less along the chest, keep the elbows in close to the body. You're gonna bring it out and back. Bring it out and back. And to add a little bit to it, get into a horse stance so you're nice and wide. Sink down that butt down a little bit lower and bring it out and back. Again, out and back. And back. Try not to push those shoulder blades out. Keep the core nice and strong. So now we're going to hold it out. Hold it, hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back in and bring it out again. For five, four, three, two, one, bring it in. Sink down a little bit lower. And last time for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes, it's that break time. I'm sweating a little bit, so I need to wipe my brow, grab some water, and then, yes, we'll do that round one more time. So let's do that shoulder press, feet about hip width, down and then we'll alternate, 16, 15, 
14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 6, 14, 23, 18, 97, yeah, keep going. I'm not counting. Why? Because I have a timer going. So I can fake it. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Shoulder press. This time I'm going to do it with two. It'll be a little bit harder. Now I'm going to get right into the squirt stance right to start off with. I'm going to sink down and bring it out. And then bring it back. Again, out. And back. Hold it out there for at least a count of one and two, and then bring it back. Again, one and two, back. And if you're in a horse stance, make sure those knees are not past the toes. And also make sure that you're kind of leaning back onto your heels. Nice to be rooted, right? Right in that horse. Let's hold it up for five, four, three, two, one, and back. And again, five, four, three, two, one, and back. Last time for 10, nine, eight, sink down a little bit lower. Four, three, two, and one. Single leg, back rows, and wood chops. We're actually gonna need two for the first exercise. I don't know what I'm thinking. So we're gonna start off on one foot. So we're gonna balance forward, keep the knees soft, just slightly bent, and we're gonna just do back rows on the one side. Go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, for five, four, three, two, and one. Place one dumbbell down now. And I worked my left weight leg supporting, so I'm gonna do a wood chop to the left side. And we're gonna go down for 15, 14, 13. Actually, wood chop, you're gonna go down the center, but we're going off to the side. That's it, working a little bit on the inverse abdominals. Exhale down. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab the dumbbells, we've got to do the other side. So I'm balancing on this foot, leaning forward. Keep the knee soft, don't lock out that knee. So bend forward, and let's do those back rows for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. It's my weaker leg, can you tell? Place the one dumbbell down. Now I'm going over to the right side. And let's go. Exhale and down. That's it. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's it for the dumbbells. Water break, core time. Exclusive abdominal work. Get ready. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm going on to the floor. It's, so we're going to start off in downward dog position. So you're going to walk into downward dog position. We're going to do Hindu or dive bomber push-ups. We're going to come down low into back extension and then come back up. 
And then down. And up. Down. And keep going. Nice and low. And back. Low. Don't hold your breath. Keep going again. Four. Three. Two. And one. Time to get on right onto the floor for some jujitsu bridges. All right, so we're gonna get into sit-up position. We're driving our hips up, our glutes up, as we go over to the side. So if we have somebody on top of us, we're throwing them off us. Okay, so exhale over one side, and again over to the other. Keep the feet planted on the ground. Okay, drive your glutes up. You're driving up. You're throwing that person off. And let's go for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Roll out with a reverse crunch. So. Well, idea here is you're going to do a reverse crunch and then you're going to roll up. So roll out. So tuck the chin in as you roll back and crunch and then come back up. And when you feel comfortable enough, right, you can try to do it without using your hands. But don't worry, if you have to use your hands a little bit for that one, that's fine. Five up. And four more. Three more, two more, last one, all right, from there we're going to get into Russian twists, so you want to have it so that the feet are off the ground, knees slightly bent, grasp the fingers, and just go across, one, two, three, four, a lot of times but you'll see they'll use the medicine ball to do the same thing as you're doing the touch. Right? Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Grasshoppers. What? Yes, grasshoppers. We're gonna swing the foot over to the one side and then the other. So light little kicks. One, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's like a modified mountain climber. Plank jacks. And kick out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, seven, six, five, twelve, eighteen. I don't know how many I've done for three, two, and one. Time for our afterburner metabolic finisher. What is it? Elbow, elbow sprawl, or burpee. So we're gonna do elbow, so cross, uppercut elbow. We're gonna come down, and then switch over to the other side, and again, cross, uppercut, and then down. Right, you ready? Let's go. Sprawl. And one. Elbow. Back. And elbow. Elbow. Back. And elbow. Elbow. Back. And elbow. Elbow. Back. One. Two. Back. And one. Two more. Back. One. Two. Last one. Back. Back. There we go. Your little metabolic finisher is done. Cool down. Time. We're going to step forward. 
for a cool down. Hand comes up and over. Bring the other hand around. It's always good to kind of stand upright, especially after you just got your heart rate up there. Slowly release. Swing the arms forward. One forward, one back. Warrior pose. Lean forward and down. Bring that other hand up. Get a nice stretch of the chest. Don't hold your breath. Over the other side. Now we're going to lean back, get into a hamstring stretch. Bring the toe up. Lean forward, leaning with the chest. And into pigeon pose. Step back and step forward with the other foot. Same thing the other side. Very good. Equal muscle symmetry and elasticity also. As I said earlier, what to do one side, you have to do the other. And warrior two pose. Lean forward and down. Bring your hand up. Switch over to the other side. And down into that hamstring stretch. Feel a nice stretch there. Don't worry if you don't have to lock out the knee. You want to keep it soft, that's fine. And into that pigeon. And put the foot back, pop forward, come on up. Feet under the body, roll the shoulders, exhale. Palms up, breathe in. And slowly exhale. And one more. And great job, everybody. Keep up the work. Good work. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future workouts or exercises, let me know in the comment section below. Just remember, you're never too old. So use it, not lose it.